Sure you're good. I know you're good. You're born on top of the pizza. So how the heck could I be born on top of the pizza? What is that the born on top of the pizza? So I remember taking like, you know, sex education class and <laughs> sitting in the classroom and it was like, born on top of the pizza. Oh my God. First place we lived was above a pizza place. That's what my father meant was born on top of the pizza. I was conceived above a pizza place. So it's, it's, that's how it all started. It, you know, a couple other things and uh, just more understanding about life. My name is John LaBarbera and I love what I do. Frank and Gus Pizza opened in 1967. Uh -huh. My uncle and my dad opened it, and it's a family business. We do everything from scratch. We do everything homemade. Very, very labor-intense product, but uh, worth worth every every effort. Yeah, uh, pizza making is truly an art, especially it, it, it's if you're not doing the cookie cutter assembly line pizza, it's definitely an art because you can try and make three the same. And you'll find out, out of those three, one will be better than the other two. You got your sauce, it just has to be the right amount. Too much makes it soggy, not enough, it makes it dry. You get your pepperonis in the right place, or your onions, or your olives. And you've got all these different flavors fighting each other, and it's actually a real, a real science to be able to, to mix the right uh, flavor profiles with other toppings. The bottom of the pizza, you wanted a golden color. So what you do is, you, if, if it's ahead of the cheese, you have to slow it down. Okay, right now, this one is ahead of the, the other ones. The colors are almost nice and golden on top, the brown and the, and the crust from underneath. Some people, I go to trim it up to clean it up, and they're like, what are you doing? That's the best part. And then there's other people like, oh, it's burned. So what I do is I, I, I try to just clean up the edge a little bit. My dad, when he would do it, you would, uh, you would watch it and it looked like he'd throw everything on the pizza. And in those days, it was, it was common for people to come in and go, I've heard about this pizza thing. Well, I, I wanna try it, what is this pizza thing? It was a moment that everybody remembered when they had their first pizza. Yeah. The, the whole thing behind the restaurant is is, is my parents and what they instilled in me was integrity, honesty, you know, quality of work and just your reputation. Something as simple as making a pizza becomes a life lesson. Everything is, is, is intertwined. You, you make the pizza right, you cook it right, you get the end product is, is what you get, which is hopefully perfection. I'm motivated. I, 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 my kids are young. I know that you know that somebody's going to be university. Somebody always going to need this. Somebody always needs that. I'm, I'm, I'm the last line of defense from starvation. I, I, have, I, I love doing everything with my kids, whether it's coming to the restaurant. Which I mean, how many, how many people can take their kids to work and it becomes like they're hanging out with them? I mean, it's pretty special that way. They all want to come to work. All four of them are like, you know, it's our shift. It's our shift. It's our shift and sometimes I have to negotiate my way out that, okay, uh, I'm gonna give Lydia this night, but you get this one. There's a future, and, but I don't, wanna, I, don't, I don't want my kids to feel pressured that we gotta keep it going or whatever. I want them to make the choice from their own heart what they wanna do. I want them to be humble. I want them to be appreciative. I want them to be true to themselves and true to, to, to what my family and my upbringing was about. Thank you, thank you so much. Better and better all the time. Okay, all right. So, because I'm mic'd right now and I've got the camera on top of me. <laughs> so you called that a good time to compliment me. It doesn't look scripted or anything. <laughs> Best pie ever, okay. The, the ravings uh, of the, uh, and, and the rants of the customers are, you know, okay. It's it's nonstop. It's nonstop. They they're not customers. Like they're they're more than customers. They, when I do uh, like uh, you know I'm making their their meal. I'm making their dinner. I know you know that everybody's going to be happy. It's not just a pizza place. It's there's so much more to it, right? Like the food is one thing, but the rest of it is all 
you know, they, they, they ask me about what the kids are doing, what, you know, my mom and dad are doing, what everybody in my family is doing, and then I ask about their family. Everybody gets to know everybody's, you know, life, right? You know, I genuinely care about them. I, 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 I know of their, their life and their problems, and it, it, it's, it all, all is a part of the relationship of being here in this restaurant. People will come in and go, I don't know what it is. It's like you put love in the food. I've seen it myself. If I'm in a bad mood, it comes out a little bit, a little bit flat. You feel good, you're in the groove, you're in the zone. Wow, 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 wow. The thing about, I, I look forward to coming to the restaurant when I get out of bed. It's, it's food, but there's so many more levels of it than just food. I enjoy what I do and uh, I'm, I'm sharing it with my customers and friends, right? It gives me purpose for sure. That's, it's all about.